Blender. Go to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, Install, and then install the add-on. Panel on the right side in Blender, if you don't see it, just press N. You will see the add-on called POV. And here you can change all the parameters you like. In the 3D like viewport, jump. select your camera, right click. At the bottom you will find a setting called POV. Hit that button, you have a full screen and everything else is hidden. Top of the screen you will see a button back to previous and if you click it, you're just back to your normal viewport. I highly recommend this, but it's not necessary for it to work. Go to edit, key map, and then look for view, navigation, walk, slash, fly. And then you change the shortcut to whatever suits you. If you fall through the surface for whatever reason, just press tab and then you will enter the fly mode again. And now you can press E to elevate yourself. At the bottom of the screen, you will see some hints on how to use the add-on WASD to move around. And the most important part is pressing tab to toggle on and off gravity. If you press the left or right mouse button, you will stop being in the walk or fly mode. But now it allows you to change some settings in the end panel if you want to. And you can use the shortcut to go back into walk or fly mode. If you want to record your movements, open the timeline tab, set the end frame to something like 10,000 and then turn on auto keying, the first symbol right after the marker and then hit play. Use the shortcut or the object context menu to go back into walk or fly mode. Walk around your scene as you wish and then press the left mouse button to confirm all your movements. Stop the animation just press spacebar again to stop the timeline and now you can adjust the keyframes to your need and render it out also a quick tip if you want to convert from kilometer per hour to meter per second you just divide by 3.6